Okay, are you ready to follow me? Hmm? Babies as well. We're going to try and see if we can take you across the road. Got blueberry and the piglets across easily enough. But uh, gingerbread is distracted. So, yeah, I'm just hoping the babies don't go and join her. But uh, I'm just letting her grow some grass and uh, we'll try and get her in a little bit later. But these ones are now exploring. I've put peaches back in with the others. Um, I will be moving blueberry across with the others as well. So this will then just be um, gingerbread and her four piglets in here. And as I was going to close the gate, she just walked in. So today is Thursday. These piglets will only be one week old tomorrow. And they have already more than doubled in size. It's amazing how quickly they grow. So just look at all these color combinations over here. They're so cute. So I've finished the majority of the bottle wall. Um, this corner is a little bit of a, a mess and then that'll need some touch-ups, but I'll have to do that when it is a bit drier. I've still got to just do this little part here, but that's not a, a major. But at least this means I can, once it's all dry, I can start cleaning the bottles off and painting. But I'm just going to wait for this... Um, mortar to set just a little bit wet but it's still soft and then i'm gonna flatten it down and make it look a bit better and not so spiky but yeah very pleased with my bottle wall all right next step in the bathroom is to get this floor all clean nicely so i can carry on with tiling So when I get a few spare minutes, I just make up a little mini mix and lay a couple more tiles. Um, the bathroom floor, it's going to be like a haphazard uh, pattern, so it's just going to be a bit artsy-fartsy. As you can see, the floor isn't level because of the big granite boulder that runs through it. So, yeah, we're just going to have to do what one can. But I wanted to show you this um, awesome solar light. It is so bright. I might come in tonight and show you how bright it is. So this is connected to a little um, solar panel and it charges you in the day. And as soon as it gets dark, this switches on and the light is on all night. So there's the little solar panel for the light. So the bathroom is lit up all night. You don't have to stumble around in the dark to try and find the toilet. Still growing nicely. Mm, the weeds coming up there, I can see. Yep. Looking good. The very minute I come to do feed, the three ah. troubadours appear from nowhere. <laughs> oh, and you're not all over here on this side. Now you can see me doing the feed. Jelly Bean's udder is so full, so I think it could be, could be tonight. It's quite slack at the back as well, so let's hope all goes well this time.
you can see how bright this light is in the bathroom. I remember that little rhyme from my childhood. Red in the morning, shepherd's warning. Red at night, shepherd's delight. It's quite red this morning. I wonder if this is a shepherd's warning. Are you still busy? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I was going to pour it out for you. I don't think you finished giving birth yet. Come on, let me take this. There we go. There you go. Oh, these are quite fat ones. So these three, yeah, all very, very, very fresh. I think she's still busy, but she's taking an eating break. So these are very newborn. That one's still got the bag on. I'm actually going to remove its bag. And see, it's still got got its bag on there we go get you out of your little bag oh, there's another one with the bag on i need to take off hey Yeah, they're ready to have their first drink. Okay. Let me help this one. It's still got bag over the head. Yes, you got your bag everywhere. Let's get your bags off. And you, you flopping everywhere because of your bag. Let's get this bag off here. Yeah. You got it around your head, your body. There we go. That's better. That's better. Now you can move. Hmm? Now you can move. You're really going into the straw over here. Just make sure you don't hide too much. So these four are snug at the moment, but I don't think Jelly Bean is finished. She hasn't passed her afterbirth yet, and the one side still looks like it's full of uh, piglets because uh, pig's uterus, there's like two horns, and then they first give birth to piglets in the one horn, and then they might take sometimes even an hour break or so. She's having a food break before they then um, deliver the other horn. So I think there's still more to come. But I want to make sure that I see the piglets drinking on her. And I've just got to watch, seeing that she had mastitis before that. Um, yeah, she doesn't, she's got a lot, lot of milk, but not like last time she was literally overflowing with milk. She had so much. So we'll see this time if they can drink it out. Yeah, I can see she's starting to get contractions again, but um, she's determined to first finish eating. But yeah, can you see the contractions? There, you see that? You see that movement? She's determined to eat every last scrap though.
Okay, she's going back inside. I don't know if she's going to lie down now and have the rest. Hopefully she falls on the other side. Yeah, she seems to be very aware of where they are. There she goes. Right. Hopefully they can... She is presenting herself for them as well. One is sort of finding something there. She's very careful with this one seems to be going to the head. I need to just latch on. Come on, come, try and find mommy's boobies, there we go, see if you can find them. They're so close but they're not latching on yet. Yep, there's another one that's just come out. Come on. There we go. Let's get this off your Yes, that's it. Hello. Hello, world. Hello, world. Another one is out, but this one's not. This one's not moving. Oh, come on, that's it. There you go. There you go. That's it. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Come on. You can do it. Take a breath. Come on. Come on. Let's clean out your airway. Come on. Take a breath. Oops. When you don't have a towel with you to dry it off, you have to just use your sweatshirt. In the meantime, another one has come out. All right. Yeah, we seem to have got you breathing. Hmm? They seem to be latching on. Oh, another one is just come out so they seem to be able to find the teats now I'll just give this one like a little minute or so and then I'll dry it off as well on my sweatshirt number nine just popped out come on come on come on there we go take a breath take a breath let's get this off your face come on take a breath that's it see you can breathe let's get this let's get you dry my poor poor sweater they're all managing to suckle. Um, the one that I've just dried off on the end there, 
he well he or she i don't haven't looked to see what it is but he's trying to make its way to its teeth but the others have all managed to latch on now so that's a huge relief let's see that one's making a concerted effort yeah that one's managed to reach one of the top teats. The others are all, all feasting on the bottom ones. That little one is, yep, yeah, he'll be fine. Oh my goodness, not after birth. Another piglet. Right, let me dry this one off. Oh, come on, breathe, breathe. That's it, breathe. Because this pen is technically not a maternity ward and um, the fence gaps are a bit big for, um, for little piglets. I mean, they'll slip through that quite easily. I think I'm going to let them stay here for about a week and then um, move her to um, the maternity ward that Gingerbread was in because I've moved Gingerbread from that now. Um, so that gives me now some time just to clean it up, remove poop, put down um, uh, some diatomaceous earth in the house and fresh straw and um, I will move jelly bean down there so that when the piglets do start wandering around they're not going to leave this pen because this pen is very big so they won't then leave this pen go out on the other side where neighbors dogs can get them so that's my plan so just leave them here for the first at least five days i reckon So Jelly Bean is busy passing the afterbirth now. Um, it's a much slower process than when a piglet comes out because the piglet's sort of helping to propel themselves out as where the afterbirth doesn't. All of them have had managed to latch on and have something to drink. I've been checking. Um, yeah, here comes the afterbirth. And um, I won't show you that because I don't think uh, YouTube likes graphic content like that. But anyway, I'm going to go and um, make sure her water is all full and I'm going to give her, go and get her something extra to eat because I think after giving birth to um, 10 piglets, you might feel hungry even though she took a food break in the middle. You did a good job, Jelly Bean. Afterbirth is out. Want a marshmallow? Hey, you want a marshmallow? You usually love marshmallows. Hmm? Too tired for marshmallows. Fundasa today in um, Funda and they sell all kinds of like fencing and that. I'm here to buy the rebar posts and the malia de sol that um, Nick has told me to get to build the fence that will hopefully keep the dogs in. I've just got back um, and I can see Coco Pop has finally managed to lift this fence up completely and so she has broken out 
Her babies are in the house asleep and there's no sign of her at the moment. This is just a very, very temporary fix. Um, I've got to do something a lot stronger than this, uh, especially at the bottom, but still no sign of her. So um, I'm going to throw her food down and then I'm going to go and feed Jelly bean and check on jelly bean and feed the sheep because as you can hear Betty is you know frantic The babies are all cuddled up over here I Just I don't know where she is Have to go for a little tour investigation She was busy feeding them now again, so I brought her dinner to her but they all seem very active at the moment. I must just remove that afterbirth now. But they're drinking, so that's good. I'm not going to put extra straw in like I did for the others. <laughs> because I think she can keep them warm. There's enough of them to keep warm these pigs are so clean i tell you she moved all the dirty hay the bloody hay and the afterbirth all to the doorway over here out the way all right let's hope she keeps them nice and warm now I have to go and find Coco Pop. Be here, Betty, crying again. She's just had her dinner. There she is, in front of the house. Come on. Come. You came out for a grass feed and some acorns. It's time to go back in. Come on. Come. All waking up now. They want you to know where the hell did mom go? Hey, she went walkabout. Where did she go? Always buy the pigs these veggies when they are on um, lockdown, on special. Only six babies here today. No sign of the missing four. So once again, I'm going back to my like fox theory because, um, yeah, fox. I think can fit through or mongoose can fit through this fence so I might try and move these today I might try and move them today um, yeah just six left yeah so the other four have vanished If you look at this fence from this end, you can see I shored up like the front of it a bit. But um, Coco Pop has been working at it solidly since she's been in here. So it's a couple of months that she's been working at this. I'll be in the kitchen and I'll hear her bashing against it, trying to wiggle things loose. Coco Pop. I'm just going to go and check on Flapjack because he didn't come up for feeding time today. Blueberry, Blueberry is still trying to find her place in the herd again now that she's back. But I'm just going to go and check on Flapjack. I saw him standing under the trees looking sorry for himself. So I'm just going to go and check on him. I tell you, you build this quite securely, like Louise and I built this very securely, and look how the pigs just take it apart. What's it, Blueberry? We're going to go and look for Flapjack. I'm thinking of coming and picking up a lot of these little rocks lying around here. What's it, Blueberry? Yes. 
Yes, you coming to say hello? Hmm? Um, because I'm thinking that end of the bottle wall, people have suggested, I don't think I can make a pillow of rocks, but I might be able to lay some of these small ones up. What's it, Tim Tam? You can't stand it when someone else comes and says hello to me. Yeah, you get all jealous. Oh my goodness, sweetie pie. Now you have to come and say hello. They get so jealous. I've been searching everywhere for you, Flapjack. Where were you? Why didn't you come? Oh my goodness, now I have everybody. Oh goodness gracious. All of you. Oh my goodness. All coming for loves. Cupcake. Yes. Cupcake. Oh my goodness. Right. Cheesecake. Are you coming to help with something, Henry? Hmm? You're lucky you just looked at that tree. Ah, 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 not that tree. Yes, the grass next to it. Not that actual tree. The law of physics. What goes in has to come out. Well, I think it's the law of physics. So I'm going to have to try and offload this because I need to get more sheep food today. <laughs> not sheep food, pig food. And I won't be able to fit it in with these things. So this will have to be offloaded. But not just yet. I'm going to try and reconnect gas because I had to get a new gas cylinder. This is nice and heavy. <laughs> So my saviour came sailing in on his red ship. While I was trying to figure out how you connect the gas cylinder, I heard whistling, which I recognised. Hello. Yep, and now he's showing me why things I do don't always make sense. <laughs> okay, I need to explain something to you. So these screws you've bought, yeah? Yeah, they told me they were posi, I asked. They are posi drive, yeah? Yeah. Which is signified by the little cross in between, see the little, tiny little mark here? Yeah. Yeah. That that tells you this screw is posi drive. If it doesn't have them, it's Phillips. So PH instead of PZ. Okay. You've bought these, which are PZ, which yeah. are right for this. But this is a PZ3 because it's quite big. And you have PZ here, one, two, and three. Yeah. Yeah. So this. I can't get in. No. Oh, why do they make these things so you could never get in them? They're wanting to test your patience. I think so. Because they figure I don't test your patience enough. No, you do a very good job of that, actually. <laughs> so there's your PZ3, yeah. which should fit in there perfectly yeah okay the problem you were using a ph i had a ph you were using ph bits in the pz drill yeah so these the screws are very very hard sometimes so this is a ph yeah yeah look, look see the slack yeah so so by using a ph in here if you don't push it in really hard when you're screwing it it'll slip like that Okay. Keep what they call camming out, yeah? And if it keeps slipping, you're going to wear bits off, and this is exactly what you've done. Yeah, it's because it's it doesn't... less likely to slip look, if it fits properly in the, in the first place. Okay. Yeah? Lesson one. Lesson one. And now Nick is says that my chainsaw needs sharpening again, so I've brought the sharpening stuff, so that'll be lesson two. But he removed what I had so carefully built so carefully he actually used a finger to knock it out i was like shocked right i need to shape that and we're going to put that there to give you an end to your bottle wall okay yeah 
somehow. Somehow, no, it's not somehow over the rainbow, it's somewhere over the rainbow. Nick is so impressed with my Ryobi chainsaw. Not the sharpest, is it? Well, I'm not the sharpest tool either. <laughs> Yeah, so what I was saying about fixing yeah. it, you need, to, you need to be able to fix this to the granite. Yeah. You've got fissure fixings, hammering fixings, stuff like that, I'm sure you have. I don't know. We'll sort that out in a minute. So once that's fixed there, it gives you, obviously you'll have to take all these screws out. Oh my God, that's going to be something. Well, it's quite easy. And that'll give you an end to your wall then. Yeah. And then you could possibly a door here or well, maybe we even add we'll add more timber to this to bring it out yeah yeah can we we can fix we can fix this piece on that or not this piece could do that's what i was thinking because that'll look that'll look quite nice that actually looks quite nice And then that way I don't have to take all those nails out. Yes, you do. Yes. Oh. You can't fix a bolt on top of those. Okay. That come out easy enough. See, simple. Oh my goodness. Nick makes everything look simple. One with that, one with that head on. Yeah. You need a pair of pl um, pliers. Pliers. Pinchers, nips, or something for that. Look. Uh. What do you prefer? I'd prefer to get that fixed first before we start taking, taking it, taking all these out. Yeah. Uh. I don't think I've got anything that attaches onto granite. Yeah, you have. Okay. We'll find something. Right, so that's that started. This woefully blunt saw. Who sharpened this last time? You did. <laughs> you must stop hitting the ground with it. I don't think I've been hitting the ground with it because I've been using like the horse thingy. So the strong man <coughs> who hurt his knee slipping on an orange. Look <laughs> <laughs> how fast he offloads this. It's like he's a machine. So when they loaded this in, they had to use a forklift truck. But look at Tarzan over forklift, here. Forklift, schmorklift. Yeah, look at him. He doesn't need a forklift. So Nick has a cunning plan. Always. Okay, what's the cunning so plan? So my idea was that you, this is, they do this in the Falkland Islands, right? Mm -hmm. To make a gatepost because again, similar to here in the Falklands, there's a lot of stone and granite but lots of stones, yeah? So what they do is tie three pallets together, fill them with stone, you've got a gatepost. Oh, wow. Yeah? So you yeah. can then use this, as you, uh, you can hinge your gate from here and start your fencing from this, from the corner of this, yeah? Okay, that sounds like a good so, plan. So we'll have that wire and stuff, and uh, so I can't okay. make it, it'll all fall over. Right. So you're just tying them together with wire? Yeah, just um for a minute. We could screw these actually, but just because we haven't got screws here with those nips. 
These are carpenter's nips, by the way, not not, uh. not steel friction nips, but there we go. What, are you supposed to cut wood with that? No, they're for pulling nails out. Oh, okay. I was wondering, like, carpenter? Carpenters deal with wood. Yeah. Nails and screws and things. Okay. Yeah, these aren't, aren't doing that at all, but... Can screw these. Late, we'll put some screws in there later, yeah? So those two, and one across here. Or a hammer, they're very good as a hammer. <laughs> make these all touch each other now. Okay. We could nail and if there. I don't listen to you, Nick, you're going to lock me up in here. Yeah. You never listen to me. I always listen to you. Look, I bought exactly what you told me to buy. True. Yeah, we need to get this on a bit more level ground, I think. Okay. Yeah, battery. <laughs> That's the problem with all this toy town stuff, see? No. So I thought you had a big heavy hammer somewhere. Um that was Steve's. He's taken He's that. Back, does he? Oh, right. I've just got a normal mallet. And I've got the 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 post worker. Yeah, that might help. Can we fetch a post worker? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the water running in. Nick is helping me fill it in because this is a two-person job. He's now doing uh, exercises down there. thing about this bathroom floor is because nothing is level and you've got granite stones popping up everywhere you can actually just have fun and just nothing needs to match up you don't have to have the same gaps between anything it can all be a little bit haphazard like it is and I'm just putting bigger pieces down and then I'll be making mosaics to fill in the smaller areas that's just part of it. I've still got to do going down here, which I'm not too sure how I'm going to do, and around the wash basin area. So every day I'm going to be bringing some rocks and stones and throwing some in so that this will become a special like gate post. And you can see down here, this is where fence posts are going in um, and then we'll be putting the fencing on. Um, the reason why this is going to be fenced along here is so that I can get the dogs back because I can't bring the dogs onto the farm unless I have a fenced in yard for them because they don't stay on the farm they just wander around the district and it causes so much stress and anxiety for me um worrying where are they what are they doing i don't need that in my life so there's a fence that's going to be going up so that i'll have a fenced in yard over here i'm not sure i'm going to be able to lift up rocks as big as what Nick did to throw in here. Mine, I'm sure, are going to be a lot smaller than these ones. It's not yours, it's the pig's food. Oh my goodness. You've been grazing all day, now you're going crazy for the bag of pig food. Excuse the, I can't even say it's perspiration, excuse the sweat.
but man sometimes moving pigs it's like a bit of a military operation so uh, after Nick left I went to go and get some well I first did a little bit of tiling in the bathroom went to go and fetch some uh, pig food and uh, came back and see somehow either Clarence had opened the gate and was in the pen with gingerbread and the babies and then as soon as the other pigs saw me they all came into that pen as well and it's like I'm I'm trying to fatten gingerbread up with her baby she's getting five times the feed that she should be getting to try and um, fatten her up the babies are very very fat but they've sucked her dry basically so that was the first military operation but the second one was to move jelly bean who I always call a two-person pig because Jelly Bean needs someone in the front with a bucket and someone at the back with a branch and I can't be in the front of the bucket and at the back with a branch at the same time no matter how large I am I can't do both but I don't know I managed to move her um as we got sort of closer uh, to the pen, I'm moving it. I'm moving into Gingerbread's old pen. I've prepared it. I've put um, a fresh straw in. Um, I moved the babies down in the wheelbarrow. Um, the six babies, because I didn't want to leave the others there. If the fox or mongoose, whatever it is, that took the other four last night knows they can come at night they will come back again and um, I think this pen is safer it's got the chicken wire all around the bottom and yeah so I put in some of the um, the straw and some of the straw that had like a little bit of her blood on it that she'd pushed outside I put in as well so that she can smell her own smell and I'm just hoping and praying that she recognizes that those are her babies in that um, pig house because I don't think it's a good plan to move them but it's also if a fox is going to be taking them at night I can't leave them there. So we played a little Hansel and Gretel with a trail of carrots and as you can see there's a trail of carrots, well I suppose you can't really see it, a trail of carrots going to the house, there they are, a trail of carrots going up to the house where her babies are, and the sheep, because I'm close by, guess where they are, they're in their pen, but close to me, and the good thing is that her udder is looking good so far, touch wood, I have to touch as much wood as possible, but yeah, it's looking good. She's got plenty of milk. The babies are all quite fat. They were born quite fat, but they're quite, you can feel they're quite heavy and fat, so they're getting quite a lot of milk. So they've settled in well. We just need mom to find them. Bit scared, I think, because it's, you know, to get moved from one nest to another, I think could be traumatizing. I didn't put in as much straw as I did. Um, the other, you can see I gave some to the sheep are enjoying it over there. But they all snuggled in nicely in that nest over there. Let's just hope. Madam Jelly Bean can find them and feed them and not be mean to them and recognize them that they are her babies that she will feed them. That's my big worry but I couldn't leave them tonight where they were if there's a fox coming taking them because four were just gone and there's there's no yeah, no sign of and she's never ever hurt babies or whatever before so 
anyway, that's it for today. Quite an action-packed video. So if you haven't liked, please give it a like, comment below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and help it to grow. Thank you for your support and stay sane, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.